There's not much left to do for either man other than to hope that voter turnout works in their favor. Let's bring in 12 News' Gerald Harris. He is live with the Reeves campaign. Gerald? Yeah, Melody, and I'm joined by Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves, who is trying to be the next governor. He was so close last time, one percentage point, but you said the focus for this race is turnout in this primary runoff election. Did you do enough? Well, we've worked very, very hard over the last three weeks, and, and honestly, it hadn't just been me, it hadn't just been Ely, it hadn't been our girls. It's been people all over the Mississippi have gone door to door, they've made phone calls, they've talked to their friends and neighbors, they've talked to the people they go to church with. Um, and because of that, uh, we are very optimistic that tonight's going to be a great night uh, for our campaign, but really tonight's going to be a great night for the Mississippi Republican Party and ultimately for the state of Mississippi. And there is still time for people who did did not cash their ballot to go out, get in their trucks, like Secretary <laughs> Hosman like to say, and go cast your ballot. Last pitch to voters, what separates you from Justice Bill Waller Jr.? Well, we want to encourage everyone to go vote, regardless of how you choose to vote. Don't ever forget that there are veterans all across Mississippi, and there are people serving overseas right now that are giving us the right and defending our right to a democracy and, and to our right to vote. Uh, I'm a true conservative. I, I believe that taxes are too high, and I believe that we don't need more Obamacare in Mississippi, and I'd be honored to have everyone's vote. And that's your last pitch to the voters here in Mississippi. We'll have a lot more from the Tate Reeves campaign here at the Weston and down Downtown Jackson reporting in downtown Jackson Gerald Harris 12 news